hey guys welcome back so guys uh, in previous video of the second part of admin panel we have done a registration form for the admin purpose okay so this was the output at last so we just continued uh, continuing to that so guys we have done how to add the form and with the password and confirm password okay we have done till now and it data is inserted into the database okay so I want to retrieve those datas at this table okay so guys first let's go to the coding part and let's go to the register.php inside admin folder okay so let's get back and so guys uh, here it is right so this is admin folder inside that register.php file okay so this is my register file and uh, the simple code where I have used the table design okay for the bootstrap bootstrap table okay so I'm going to do is that ID take the th that is username and next one is email and one is uh, what is that password okay password done and the next two things we'll keep for example edit and delete for the future I mean for the videos okay so let's keep this now so guys it is set and let's view the output of it how it is okay so the d details is coming like this so guys now what we have to do we have to retrieve these data what we have registered into the register database okay so let's uh, start with the coding part as soon as possible we'll finish this video okay so as simple at the top of the table okay I am going to write the code okay so not at the top yeah let's start with it okay so as simple php codes okay so done and I'm going to close the php code okay so what is this extra okay so I'm going to retrieve the data directly into this table so I'm going to create a variable query and give the value that is um, select I'm going to s fetch the data so select star from all the data star means all from which register table okay so register is nothing but my database table name okay so table is done and let me run this query QRY query run is equal to my SQLI query function so inside query function we have to give the connection for that and then run the query okay the hack okay so dollar query Shit, man. I don't know why it's behaving like this okay so let's give this so dollar connection means we have to give the connection of the database right so that is I'm going to give the connection as is equal to my SQL I connect connect where that is local local host local host comma or we are local host and your final for the that is username root password is nothing and my database name is admin panel okay so this is my database name which is over here okay copy that paste it done okay so it's done and now I'm going to fetch from this table my data okay so that is at the tr above 
okay so I'm going to write the if statement okay so let's open the PHP if what this dollar query okay so that we have to do here okay so before that I will write some MySQL like query function so let me close the PHP first okay MySQL I num rows function that is dollar query run is less than zero okay so if it is less than zero it should show me error thing so let me open and close the curly braces so that is okay so inside this now what I'm going to do is this, I will use while loop okay while loop dollar row of okay so shit dollar row is equal to my SQL I my SQL I fetch yes associate yes c yes function function where I'm going to take this query okay so and paste it over here right and after this inside this we have to echo the values whatever we are storing into this variable dollar row okay so let's view that that is id id and next email and username username pss password okay so password so guys now what we have to do we have to display into this table tags okay so I'm going to do is that divide this PHP inside this okay close PHP and and uh, let's do with this where I'm going to echo this values okay inside this done right so let's do the same thing for everyone okay backspace control C paste 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 okay so done and now we have to give here username email password okay and I'm going to remove this from here and let's divide the PHP okay so let's cut this so before that I'm going to close this and open the PHP okay simple if it started means then else also should come over here okay so else echo what no record found okay simple done so let's cut this paste cut this part and paste below the table row paste it that's it right so it is divided now so as let's get back to the output reload the page and you are getting the data okay so this is TD and edit and delete so we will set one button to that and these are the values which we are inserting from this retrieving from this database 
okay over here so I will show you the one button also we will do off for this edit and delete so guys we will remove this actually and we'll just mention like this I'm going to take out this also so first one simple button I will do TT what the hell man UTTON button okay edit that is like um class class is equal to mm, btn btn ces success okay so button also should be as type okay submit okay so it should be something like this and let's copy this and create one more for the delete okay so this should be danger and let's save this and make sure there is no space otherwise when you are editing the data it will come an error okay let's save this and yes view the output edit okay you are getting some buttons right so according to your database so guys um in this video that's it we have retrieved the data for the registration so we are adding like this so with two way to add gmail dot com one two three six one two three six save and it's telling admin profile added it's done okay let's reload it's gone right so this is how we do with the registration so guys in next video we'll be learning about how to edit this when i click this the data should go to that and then update it okay so let's see you in next video so guys please subscribe like and share